perform live, use that big brain of yours and follow us on Twitch. We do things live there sometimes. We should live in a world where we have Supreme X Bojangles crossovers. Yeah. <clears throat> You know, I usually am very against um, crossovers in general, but, you know, I'm I, I'm for this one. It might actually mm. rival uh, the line at a Chick-fil-A drive through <laughs> Might even beat it. Yeah, what if we... Let's imagine for a moment a world where fast food... Uh, oh, actually, we're living the world where fast food gets lines just as long as a Supreme mm -hmm. drop. We've got the Popeye's chicken mm -hmm. sandwich. We've got uh, other <laughs> Other foods. chicken sandwiches. So, <laughs> it's always a chicken, sandwich. chicken sandwich. <laughs> what is with chicken? Why do we... Why are we... It's fucking I love delicious. Chicken and I love fried chicken, but there's so many places to get good fried chicken. <laughs> You can make it pickle flavored anywhere. The best fried chicken, <laughs> the best fried chicken I've ever had in my life, I bought at a mm -hmm. gas station mm -hmm. near White Lake, they North Carolina. They also sold live bait too, didn't they? Oh, okay. they, didn't. they didn't, but they looked oh, okay. like they should have. <laughs> and it was just like phenomenal. So good. I, I, I kind of have a, a similar experience with fried chicken. I was on the worst honeymoon I've ever been a part of <laughs> and it was so awkward and weird it, how yes. question how many michelle how many honeymoons have you like been a three. part of and this was definitely the worst one no this is this is your topic. this is this fucking is like <laughs> <laughs> this is okay. my topic yeah, okay now. Well, hold on hold on hold on, hold on, hold on. let's at least do an introduction or something like <laughs> no no we're not breaking the, the okay. flow of this so michelle are you aware that normally when people do their honeymoons they do it with yes. their partner <laughs> How many of these three honeymoons were you a partner Zero. in? I'm going to set the timer for this because this is good. Why were you invited as, were you, were you a training wheel? Um, and, t and two of them, yes. And, were you a sidecar? Yes. Just like elaborate okay. the relationship. And two of them? No. The, the two good ones. Number one, uh -huh. tell us the situation. Both of them were family relation, like relations. They just were like, "Hey, we're going to go on a trip," and I was young, and they wanted to take me with them because I that it was uh it was like my aunt. And, you were uh -huh. a child, and your aunt <laughs> mm -hmm. or uncle had just yep. gotten married, and said, "Michelle, will you come on <laughs> you our come honeymoon on our with us?" <laughs> the, the, here's a. Our and just hang out in the living quarters while we fuck in the other room. So, as far as I'm aware, <laughs> as far as I'm aware, these people don't have sex. None of them did. <laughs> uh, at least as far as I'm aware, because I never. Oh, I they ne fucked. If they do, they great. Fucked. But, um, <laughs> what, what, no, but they no. sleep in separate bedrooms. <sighs> Probably. <laughs> Why? Why did your parents allow you to go on this fuck vacation? <laughs> it wasn't, with your it wasn't a fuck vacation, first of all. Where did you go? You're not uh, giving us any details. I'm trying to, but you keep yeah, yelling at me. The, every time I add something, you guys go down this fucking truck. Welcome to interrogation. <laughs> tell us about these honeymoons. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to tell you about the bad one. I'm going to this tell you about so the bad one so we me. can focus, okay? The bad one. <laughs> no, tell us about the good ones. How could that? I went to Disney World. Good I was time. not the only person. It wasn't just like the couple and me. <laughs> How many like, people were there? Like a, a double digits of people. Then that's not a honeymoon. Then. Well, they called that's it that. A Look, I went. A, that's not a honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> that's what basically what it was. Wait, we're, uh -huh. question: Were they part of a cult, and were they all communally <laughs> no. married to each other? <laughs> It's just my family. My mom and dad were there too. We had a room with uh, a separate room where it was me, mom, and dad. And I went on a honeymoon. So your family has a history of tagging along on yes, honeymoon. And the, They're uh, not coming to ours. <laughs> no, I don't want them to. Uh, 
I don't want to go on your fuck vacation. Okay. I was a child. I didn't get a choice. I... <laughs> and I wanted to go to Disney World. If you had a choice, would no, you have said no? I was going no? to Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> no. And I was seven. Was it both? both? You said there are two honeymoons. Both of them were Disney World? Both of them. Were they the same people or two separate people two two uh, one was uh my aunt got married the other one was my uncle got married and they're both sib- uh, co like siblings of my dad my dad's siblings co siblings okay. they didn't get married to each other they though. did not get married to each other there were two separate <laughs> weddings to people that I know are not in the family that the internet was burning to ask that question so i did I, it for you i them. was okay. burning so- myself <laughs> <laughs> Touches the internet. That's <laughs> the bad one. I went on was two couples. I was dating. I went uh, went to a wedding that I was casually invited to. Hutch was a best man in this wedding. I know the people that were briefly yes. married, and I was there. I met a girl, and we hit it off, and we made out. That was it. That's what happened at the wedding. Uh. We started like talking, and then C was invited to the honeymoon to like go. It was a terrible honeymoon. Uh, they went to go to Myrtle Beach to Woo! go see Firefly. Fly leaf. Uh, oh yeah, you're right. Firefly. Firefly. I don't know what the fuck the band name is. Uh, uh, Firefly <laughs> leaf. Uh, all I knew is it was a terrible fucking uh, thing. And the girl was like, "Hey, if you come, I'll pay for the whole trip." And I was like, "Sure, whatever." <laughs> and I did not know what I was getting into. Um, so during this trip, uh, I was also dating two other women at the time, one of them being Brittany. <laughs> and how does that like make you chump. feel, Brittany? Yeah. So like at the time she told me, I remember we were in college. She was like, yeah, I'm going on. I was actually going on vacation to the beach with my family. Mm-hmm. And, um, I was like, hey, do you want to, because my mom was like, do you want to invite uh, Michelle to come with us? And I was like, sure, I'll ask. And I was like, that'll be fucking weird, because we'd only been together for like a month, a month maybe. So I asked you, and you were like, oh, I'm actually going to the beach with some friends. And I was like, okay, no big deal. And I didn't really. So that's how she yeah, pitched, I wasn't... pitched it. Not as, I'm going on <laughs> well, someone's I knew it was weird at the No, time. look, at first <laughs> she said, I'm going to the beach with some friends. But later on, it came out that she was going to the beach with this couple. She just told me it was someone's honeymoon and she got invited along. And I was like, hmm really like that seems kind of weird and she was like yeah i know i'm i don't know i'm going and i was like your friends are fucking stupid and then i like went on with my day because i didn't give a fuck (laughs) (laughs) looking back i realized i was very naive at the time but i was also like ah whatever i'm going to the beach and then you realized that all of her friends were (laughs) stupid in very different ways so so yeah i went on this trip and the girl that was invited me was like she's just a weird person i was just attracted to her physically but i didn't much care for her as a person and i found out (laughs) on this trip and so like halfway through the trip i realized oh this is this is a bad scenario and we're like in a hot tub all four of us together and Mm -hmm. i'm just like she's trying to make out with me and at this point i'm just like i can't wait to get home did you feel like at any point this could have turned into an orgy yeah yo i think it was Was that the setup that was the setup and i was trying to not (laughs) I was trying like, to not. I'm just come to Myrtle Beach. I to literally watch Fly just Leaf. wanted to. I literally was just trying to Talk make out with this girl. How Jesus is all around me. <laughs> I was trying to get a Jedi braid and an airbrush t shirt. And a henna tattoo. <laughs> and so, a sunburn. So, and a oh, henna tattoo. so we went to a haunted house. We did all this fucking Myrtle Beach bullshit. We did that like old Western photo thing. Ooh. I don't have that. That's too bad. They never sent it to me. I asked for it for a while. You should send oh, them a message damn. now. I probably could. Did, I probably you could. Go like, yo. You should did you run this Ripley's person down. No, but oh. uh, anyways, <laughs> that uh, after after the concert, uh, because these are third shift, they were all working third shift. Um, they they lived at night and they slept during the day. And I was that was also kind of weird to me because I was the other schedule, so I just tried to adapt very quickly. <laughs> so you just sat in the daylight by yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so we went to the beat. So I'm going to call this episode the time that Michelle almost fell into a vampire yes. sex cult. That, that that's one of the, like there's well, I've got more stories of that regard. But um, <laughs> anyways, uh, so we're in a hot tub, and she's like. 
talking to just me and she's just like hey do you want to go steady and whatnot <laughs> and i was just like you know i'm not really thinking about it right now i'm just trying to have a good time and i tried to just did she actually she say go, go steady, steady. She said the, or is that no, is that no, your memory this is, i've yeah, that's that's a direct red flag. Like anytime anyone uses fifties relationship yep. language, you gotta you gotta pull the red cord. This is me talking. Yeah, no, about yeah, no, and that was the case, and that's what happened. Like that was the moment I decided, oh, I'm not seeing this girl anymore. Don't split any milkshakes with anybody. Uh-huh. Don't let anyone take you to a sock hop. That's a all off hop. the table. Yeah. That's all terrifying. So that happened. And like the good news in that regard was it was pretty much the end of the trip. We just went to sleep after that. And then we drove home. But before we drove. How awkward was that drive home though? Because they were. Pu- this is what they were doing. They. Um, the two women <clears throat> that were involved. Uh, they both had laptops, right? And then they put <laughs> blankets over their bodies so that there would be no window glare. And they hooked it up via LAN and they played together over LAN. In the car? Yeah. <laughs> so me and the That's and you're me and the uh, husband newlywed were just chatting. Like in the back together or no. something? No. <laughs> one was in the front seat passenger. One was right behind her. The girl that I was like trying to make out with was right behind her next Uh to me and i at this point like i was so fucking miserable the only good thing that happens we went to some like mom pop uh uh, fried chicken place and i had the best fried chicken (laughs) in my life (laughs) then that happened that's what i was trying to talk about but (laughs) yeah that's where this conversation started i think that your topic jerry should be what's the best fried chicken you ever had (laughs) 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 but with us interrogating michelle about how many honeymoons she's been on i'll go ahead and say it i've been on zero honeymoons uh yeah so putting it out that out there I hope to go on one. Hopefully, none of your family tries to come. No, well, if they do, they're not coming. I don't give a shit. I'm not, like, we're not going to tell them about it. Like, when we're going. Yeah, there's so much about this that is fucking wild. To um. Me. Anyways, we got back, and I was tired, and she was tired, and I'm glad. First, let me pause and say I'm glad you got yes, back alive. Did. She wanted me to stay with her for like another night, and like I could have. But at that point, I was so fucking creeped out that I was like, yeah, no, uh, I'm just going to go. I need to go home. I just, I'm done. Yeah. And like, this is one of the shittiest things I've ever done. I should have just been honest. been like, no, I'm creeped out. Fuck you. Go away. This is over. But I just never talked to her again. Yeah. I literally just left and like, I completely ghosted her. And on the way home, on the drive home, I called Brittany. (laughs) And uh, I was just like, just kind of like, I needed uh, that breath of fresh air of like Brittany being awesome. Did did you did you ask her if she would go no. steady with you? <laughs> Actually, Absolutely we, we actively avoided it. Uh, anything like that relationship wise. But no, I was just like, hey, when are you getting back from the beach? <laughs> it was basically my vibe. And like. You I, got back before me. Because mm-hmm, mine was like a few days. Yours was like a week. Yeah um but uh yeah see uh, at that point uh i never talked to that girl again until i got a job with all of those same fucking people (laughs) like years later yeah it was like years later i got the same dirt shift job with them and boy was that awkward seeing her in the lunch area (laughs) (laughs) yep which is where you had the second best fried chicken you've ever had <laughs> <laughs> yeah see uh see uh damn it uh, that was perfect um but yeah uh hi welcome to heat wave my name is michelle belcher i'm joined by Brittany satter hello uh the interrogators over the phone are jerris mitchell and hi hi and <laughs> definitely why why uh and chris it's the hutch hutcherson my my <laughs> <laughs> so uh i'm getting the intro in there somewhere sorry it's fine um yeah just cut that out and put it in the <laughs> no, front just fuck it <laughs> and then resume it right we're, we're after so everyone gets the yeah, full yeah, context. Yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it be, and it's just gonna be like a ten minute long intro. I love it. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. 
Sometimes yeah. you got to marry. Yeah. So, uh, do you guys have any other weird honeymoon fried chicken questions? Um. <laughs> no. I, back to the point. Nobody has been on someone else's oh, honeymoon. Well, I, if you have been on someone else's honeymoon, leave a please comment. Please, please let call us the know. Because <laughs> please call the hotline. I'm worried that you're being yeah. sex trafficked. To be in a third shift nightmare. <laughs> it was pretty bad. I'll be honest. Like, uh, it was really weird being friends with one of those people very briefly, and then trying to get into that world. And this has to do with like this weird vampire shit. Was that there was also like a weird vampire LARP that was involved with them, like vampire to masquerade bullshit. So it did have that vibe about it. <clears throat> but um, a fucking yeah, I kind of I just really salvaged all the few people that were cool out of that group and i said fuck all this <laughs> we're vampires and we fuck <laughs> yeah it's kind of the vibe that i was getting <laughs> like i went to a Brittany, where's the best fried chicken <laughs> yeah. that you've had um, honestly like i've had so many good pieces of fried chicken i can't describe like the best place but probably one of the good places mm. is uh in sparta there's a place called betty's mart which is a gas station that also sells live bait yeah. and also has ice cream flavors um <laughs> uh that place is really good they have really good potato wedges i honestly love um beasley's in downtown oh. raleigh they have mm. uh, chicken oh, yeah. and waffles mm. it's really fucking good um, I don't know. Like, I love within Raleigh city limits. My top fried chicken is uh, oh, yeah. Ooh, Cafe, shit. which is the Korean fried oh, chicken that place. Is good. I forgot about them. Oh, oh yeah, I, I know what you're tried... talking about now. The uh, we went, we got the wings that Korean yeah. place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was. So everyone talks about another chicken and waffle place in Durham, but I haven't been there before, Dames. so I can't say. Yeah, Dames. I haven't been there before though, so I can't say. Like, the chicken's okay. Tall Girl doesn't like it because they put rosemary mm -hmm. in everything, and she does not like rosemary. So, I like it, but to me, their chicken was too dry, and the reason to go there was their flavor smears, which is not a reason to go there. Yeah. <clears throat> like, that was the reason, but that wasn't Yeah, Yeah, I still one. prefer Beasley's, and also they have really good crock coffee with fresh cream. Oh, oh yeah, mm, real cream. Uh, yeah, oh my god, it's like yeah. the perfect so like uh, foreplay to the uh, the main dish. <laughs> to the waffle. <laughs> oh yeah, and the waffle is so much better. Waff me up. Um. Yeah, I love Beasley's. Smash like and subscribe. <laughs> All right, we're not going to find out what H Hutch's favorite chicken place is. I, I, uh, I, I thought I alluded to Beasley's. Uh, but yeah, that's yeah, that's Beasley's. probably okay. mine. I wasn't yeah. sure. Okay. All right. I assumed it was Beasley's or Bojangles. I think that was okay. clear from the get. Cool. All right. Well, <laughs> bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs>